All right, guys. Hello, hello, hello. We are on the PTS server. Hope you guys are doing wonderful. Uh, as I talked about in the patch notes, if you don't, uh, you know, haven't seen it, I actually uh, probably put it in a card as well because these videos are coming out at the same time. I went over the patch notes. Also, they are linked in the description if you want to check them out. But we got a few things we got to check out. We got to check out Fluxion, and Fluxion is down here. There's a bunch of stuff we talked about that in here in the we talked about it in the patch notes video where we talked about uh, Fluxion and Luxion and all that stuff. So Fluxion is right here. Uh, it, it I think it's a dragon. It kind of seems like a dragon. It kind of looks like uh, his brother. But the point is with this one is that of course the cat is also here. Uh, I can go buy the cat. Yes, I want to buy. I want to buy. We can buy all of these because it's a PTS server. Uh, and we can't buy that one because you need something else. And you can also uh, buy some of these stuff over here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there is a few things that you can buy from all of these. Uh, so there is some patterns. 250,000. We're going to buy that. See what that is. Uh, can't uh, no one harm creation explosion explosion impact oh I think this it's bombs I think it's bombs I'm gonna put them in yeah okay so yeah it's just bombs that just has a flux uh, okay <laughs> if you want to be a little more extravagant uh, there's also this one this one and this one and this one uh, this is actually the real flux I'm using it's not just uh, that so let me see the bombs I just Kind of explodes a little bit more, I guess. Uh, let's move this one. Uh, just has a like kind of a purpley color. Uh, and then we have the Lego blocks. Oh, that one is cool. Okay, that one is cool. That is very cool. And then we got the skeleton thingy. Yeah. Okay, it just makes a skeleton. That's much cooler. That's much cooler. That's uh, definitely better than other ones as well. I think this is a new addition. I, I'm not sure. I don't use this guy uh, very often at all. But anyways, the point is that uh, in here, we of course, we got the, uh, uh, of course, I've got the Fluxion here. And uh, it's kind of counting down. Uh, it it sh should display something. Uh, you can't move when it, this one is up. But uh, then there is the items that you could do and stuff uh, if you do it like this. And apparently you when you vote it basically goes up but you can't uh, do it right now as of right now it's kind of kind of broken but yeah you should you know just uh, be able to uh, vote on this guy as well and then I hope that they would also have dark luxion at the same time but it doesn't look like uh, it is right now but I hope that this is on the same rotation as the same thing right now okay so yeah so dark luxion is of course down there and then we got regular luxion up here of course, we uh, also got the castle delve thingy magic that we got uh, and we can go over here and we can check it out at the workbench right here. It did introduce these ones. I'm not sure if this is new or is not. I didn't, haven't seen them before, but these are mementos. And I think this is also, also a great uh, addition to the game because that uh, if we go down here to the silver one, you can get these bronze ones. They can be found very rarely in heavy pressured, heavy, heavy pressure, pressurized chest from the depths 660 and deeper. And so you can get these and this will unlock an uncommon memento or one of the Pokemons. But if you get three of them, you can make a silver one and that one unlocks uh, still an uncommon one or a rare boss memento that you don't have already. So it's kind of like a golden dragon effigy, but this is just an effigy for, uh, you know, your mementos. And there's also a golden one that also goes with epic one from a biome. So you basically go up there, but you need three silvers to get that one as well. But the other materials from here is pretty cheap as well. So they do say it's a, it's a rarely, rarely drop from those uh, pressures chest, but it's from the chest. It's not really from the boss. So if you farm a bunch of these, there's a big chance you might... I would I would think you get a, a, a nice chance, maybe sort of the same chance as you would get a memento, maybe a little bit more, right? And then you can get some of those you haven't had already and you can unlock some of the mementos that you were missing. So you can actually get full, uh, you know, mastery all out of this. So that's pretty cool. But let's talk about the... Uh, the castle, as you can see right here, I do not have any of the materials. You do need some bleach bones, but it is just the uh, depth stepper. D 
deep depth stepper yeah you need to create and then you can get into the castle and i would show you guys the it if, if i could get into it but again it's just gonna be is if it was something special i would farm everything i needed to get it just so i can show you guys if it was something like that but i just kind of wish that we could get something like out here or something like that you know a castle there's a plenty of room as you can see there's plenty of room to go around or just rework the shadow towers to be something else i know there's some batches you can you need to get in there but those could be easily be removed to some some of the depth right some of the gateways we had right there i know those would also be annoying to to create but make them really cheap but the other one other hand i would rather have that and just like a whole update just being this one as uh, right here so I might have missed something, I'm pretty sure, or oh sorry, I did miss something, but I, I, I need to show you of course the batches one, and then you can see these are the ones that I'm closest to on my batch trying to get the batches, and you can also remove it, it was also right here, I can show you back, so you can see it right here if you want it uh, being a little bit closer, and it kind of shows you what you also get of a reward if you should complete all of this as well. So um, yeah, it just show you, but you can you can remove it as well to not have it shown. To but if you want to keep a track of it, for example, how many days you've locked in and stuff like that, that's kind of cool. You know, oh, you just need a few days more locked in or whatever. So that is cool as well. So uh, we did get a few frameworks here. <laughs> uh, I think it's just uh, just a photo PTS. Oh, ah, okay, so it's just some allies apparently for some reason. But anyways, uh, yeah. Oh, there was the ones I got from the, the kitty cat down there. So yeah, there was not really much else. It was kind of chaotic. Uh, I didn't really know what to say or what to show you guys. I kind of covered it all in the patch notes, but I guess it sometimes just makes it a little bit easier to see what is going on. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out the patch notes, either uh, the ones I went over or just in the link to the description if you want to just read them yourself. But yeah, this was the uh, PTS server for the Fluxion update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.